Alright, how is it going, everybody? Welcome to Black Ops 3 Zombies. We have finally made it to the BO3 Zombies Revisiting series, and obviously this is going to be a big one. I've got a lot of videos planned because there are a lot of maps for this game, and it is widely considered to be the best Zombies game that's ever been made. I don't know why there's random frame hiccups in the <laughs> menu. It's kind of annoying. PC version's a little cracked. But yeah, this game is obviously just insane. There's so many things to added. This intro is probably going to be a good bit longer than my other intros I've done before because there's a decent amount to go over when it comes to the new additions to this game so I'll have a time on screen if you want to just skip past the intro and go straight to the gameplay but yeah let's just go ahead and look over the new things that this game added so obviously if you look in the top right already got some new stuff going on there's leveling in this game 1 through 35 as well as 10 prestiges and a thousand levels of master prestige which is absurd and in fact you know what i'm actually i'm just gonna go ahead and uh prestige so boom prestige one there we go and there's other additions so gobble gum is a new thing this beautiful thing in which you pretty much get these little mini power-ups that have different abilities different effects i'm sure most of you guys already know about all this but i'm just going over it because why not so yeah you have classic which are kind of simple gobble gums they're they're helpful but not too crazy you have whimsical which are like goofy ones where literally, you know, zombies are just like projectile vomiting and going up to the sky. And then you have the megas, which is where things get absolutely absurd and broken. We also have weapon kits in this game, which is where you can actually change all the attachments and everything on your guns. And obviously I don't have any of these leveled up or unlocked because we prestiged. Really don't like how freaking slow the frames and, and crap is in this <laughs> menu on PC, but whatever, it won't be like that in game. But yeah, and then there's some other ways of like getting the gobble gums. Like you have Dr. Monty's factory, which is where you get random liquid diviniums while playing and you are able to, uh, you know, turn those into gobble gums. So there's a lot of crap. Uh, I'm not going to go over anything else. That's pretty much all you need to know. This game added a lot of replay value to zombies. Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the first map on Black Ops 3, which is Shadows of Evil. Quite possibly the most content packed and one of the best maps ever made. Oh god, not the hey you line. I'll tell you one thing I hate about BO3, it takes literally 10 years to skip the- Alright, never mind, they must have updated I literally skipped in like 5 seconds. Okay! Don't know what I'm talking about. Great start, great start. Alright, here we are. Shadows of Evil. The Shadow Man is staring dude. at me. And there's actually an easter egg where if you shoot him over and over, the rounds will go up and you'll get free points. So you can get to like round 20 off the jump. Um, but we're not going to be doing that. So yeah, there is just an astronomical amount of things to take in with this map. Uh, there's a lot of things I have to do at the beginning, but first we're going to pick up the, the Fumigator. I'm going to spend a lot of time setting up. We have this Bloodhound, I forgot to mention, awesome spawn weapon. That aim was incredible. So I'm going to go ahead and open this door, and we have a lot of things to do. As you can see, the map design... The, the vibe of this map is incredible, that like 1930s aesthetic. I don't know where literally every zombie just went. I will say I'm going to do the strats that I'm comfortable with. I'm going to try and set up as well as I can. There's probably better strats out there, but you know, give me a freaking break. Haven't played this map in a hot minute. Yeah, so there's this new thing in Shadows of Evil, you become the beast. We're going to get some stuff turned on. It's kind of like Afterlife or Mob, so let's go ahead and do that. Boom, boom. Go ahead and give this boy a little zap. Give that boy a little zap. Freaking Spider-Man our way up to the top. And we're gonna turn this on. So yeah, literally opening up new areas of the map with that tentacle monster. This map has a lot of tentacles, a lot of weird alien crap going on. <laughs> God, man. I I feel like I shouldn't explain every single little thing about this map because there's just so much to it and I feel like a lot of you guys know a lot about it anyways. We're gonna go ahead and pick this up and 
I'm gonna take these boys out. You only get points off of actually shooting them. You don't get points for killing these keeper dudes, so... And I think there are, like, ways where, like, if you take the zombies up to the ritual site, then you can essentially, like, double them or something. I don't really remember how to do that, so I'm not going to worry about that. But, yeah, we got that first piece. Essentially, getting the pack-a-punch open involves us getting four rituals completed. It's a whole process. And there is an Easter egg that we can do solo for this map. Obviously, I'm going to be going for that. And there's a lot of side Easter eggs as well, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing every single one because, my God, there's so many. But first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get this little Easter egg where I get free 500 points. So, boom, boom. Mm. No, I didn't hit it. So there's a piece of paper up there in that room. And if I throw my nade at it just right, I can get a free 500 points. So one, two, three, four. Bruh, I'm absolutely terrible. You know I have bad nades. Everybody knows this. Everybody knows my nades suck. Uh, I'm going to hit the gobble gum machine. What do we have? Fatal contraption. I don't want that yet. I am running Megas, which are more powerful than Classics, but I'm not using the ones that literally break the flow of the game, like shopping free Percolic. I'm not using all that OP crap. I'm just using stuff that's good, but not insane. All right, so that's the last zombie. We're going to go up here, and we're going to start this first ritual. So this is Nero's room, one of the characters. I think I'm playing is Jackie F. and Vincent, as he always reminds us. So we're starting the ritual. Got these boys. That aim assist was on point. Just want to say that freaking crap locked on hard. This will end any second now. Ah, oh, don't hit me, bro. Okay, there we go. I think the shadow man, yeah, he pops up. There's actually achievement where if you spot the shadow man in all the different locations. So yeah, we got this disgusting alien worm, and we have to get three more. I'm trying to do as much as I possibly can early on. What the heck is this guy doing? This guy is on his knees begging for forgiveness. You want forgiveness? Get religious. I'm going to try and put my beast skills to the test. So I'm going to go this way first. Always go this way first. Maybe some other people prefer the other side, but eh, I'm not crazy about it. My pathing may not be perfect, but we're, we're, we're going to be all right. So here we go. There's a lot of stuff to open in this area i won't be getting everything in one run but i'll be getting the important stuff at least for what we need to do man beast mode is just absolutely insane i prefer it over afterlife especially because you can spider-man swing everywhere okay so we got some stuff open i don't really think i'm gonna be able to get enough points to do anything else on round one so we may just have to go ahead and go to round two <laughs> Oh yeah, we still need to get the points. So one, two, three, four. <laughs> Bro, how I'm so bad at hitting this piece of paper. You know, I'm gonna pop plain sight and, and I'm gonna freaking get this piece of paper. One, two, three, four. All right, well, uh, yeah, sorry about that little mishap. I just started a new match, and I did manage to get the little piece of paper. All that for 500 points. My god. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty much where I left off. I haven't really done anything new or different. So we're gonna go in here. We're gonna do this next ritual. I'm not gonna have any ammo or anything. All right, I forgot to get the freaking badge. Good job, good job. Let me get this badge, and then I'm going to do the ritual. No ammo, no nothing. I'm trying to maximize points over here. Get that. Get out of here, boys. Let me open this rift up. After this ritual happens, there will be a Margwood that spawns, which is the boss zombie on this map. And my plan is to pretty much... I'm, I'm trying to maximize points, so I'm going to go back to the spawn with that Margwood, get that double points, and then kill him. Uh, so it's gonna be a little difficult to pull this off, but we'll make it happen. Come on, ritual. There we go. We're gonna grab this and we're gonna freaking book it out of here because that Marg was gonna be spawning and he's gonna be angry. Let's go. There he, there he goes. You can hear it. They sure do let you know he's on his way. So I'm gonna go for 
RK5, come on, pick it up. Little burst pistol, and we're gonna try and kill him during the double point. So we have to shoot his yellow heads. Oi! There we go, we got one. There we go, easy. It's going according to plan so far. There we go. Gotta level up as well. All right, Margo Heart, that's part of the Apothecan Servant Wonder Weapon, cool. So hopefully that double points was worth it. Okay, so I'm gonna buy Quick Revive so that I actually have a way to save my butt. <laughs> so far, I've literally just been going uh, one life mode, World at War mode. I don't really need to open up anything else over there yet. I'm just gonna focus on getting the map open. So we're gonna go Footlight next. I may not be able to get everything open, but I can get a good amount. All right, whatever. The door's not that important, so I'm not too worried about it. But it would have been nice to get. Uh, oh, shield part. Yeah, I forgot. I need to be getting those. Footlight, you can actually, like, get pretty much everything open. But canals, ugh. Not so much. All right, let's open up here. So now we're going into the burlesque. God, man, this map looks so dang freaking good. All right, here we go. Ritual inbound. Uh, there's not going to be a Margwa on this one. It's only the second and fourth rituals that have a Margwa. I missed like every shot. Can you imagine? Oh, I was about to get trapped. Okay, hold up, hold up. All right, there we go. Go ahead and collect the godly worm. All right, let's get canals open. Uh, we're doing pretty good on opening the map right now. I know I'm kind of blasting my way through a lot of these areas, I apologize. Right now, I'm just gonna worry about getting this door open, so here we go. Grab this too. There's a lot more to this area that I can open, but right now I just wanna get the ritual going. And there's a Richtof and a jump scare Easter egg over there, if you get a sniper, but I'm not sure if I'll do that, we'll see. I believe the Bowie knife is in here down below. Not that I'm gonna get it, but it is there. This area is always a little tricky compared to the others. But it's not too bad. All right. Also, there is an Easter egg up here where you can like turn your game into black and white mode, which is nuts. All right, can we get this real quick? No, we can't. Margwa said no. Margwa said no. All right. Okay. We're going to have to uh, play it safe. He does not want me getting that gate worm right now. All right. Good night. Get these demonic parasites out of here. All right. Let's get this freaking gate worm. There we go. Boom. We got all four. We can go to Pap now. And I need to hit Gobble Gun. I haven't even done that yet. Immolation liquidation. All right. I'll take that. This will allow us to spawn three fire sales in a row and just hit the box like a maniac. We're just going to go ahead and try and get our best guns possible. Pop that. Let's go for it. And I'm not going to be papping the Bloodhound. If you want to know what it's like, it's basically the 1911 Mustang and Sally pap. But there's no PhD in Black Ops 3, so it's just not worth it. So yeah, there's a couple things we need to get. We need to get a good shotgun or LMG, and uh, we need to get Little Arnie's, which is like the monkey bomb equivalent uh, of this map, and honestly, way better than the monkey bomb. Okay, we got that A-Maker. That's definitely going to be a keeper. Come on, box. I popped three fire sails. I better freaking get something. Dingo. All right, I got a pretty solid setup. Now I just, I need to get the, the, uh, the Little Arnie's. Ray gun, oof. Yeah, I would love to pick that up, but we're not going to do that. That's it for the box. We got, I mean, two weapons that we're definitely going to be feeling pretty good with. So, obviously, since I prestige, I have no attachments on any of these guns. You can get some crazy attachments in BO3. You can get, like, rate of fire increase, magazine increase, extended mag, all that crap. Yeah. There's some crazy attachments you can get, but we don't have any of those. On PS4, I was like level like 300 something master prestige with everything you could ever want. 
but on PC, not so much. But we now have to place our gate worms. It's actually gonna build this wall up and we're gonna wall run our way over. I don't know why wall running is even in zombies, but you know, I don't mind it. It's like the only time they ever do it, I'm pretty sure. Well, and actually no, they do it in a couple of the maps later. Now we place the summoning key. We start the final ritual. Music starting to, to go ham. We just gotta make sure we don't fall off doing that wall run, because that is definitely possible. Especially if, like, one of these keepers blocks your path. Uh, you're freaking done. Shadow Man's about to go psycho mode. There you go. Plot twist, he was trying to help us, but he's actually a demonic alien. So now we must stop him, that is the goal of the Easter egg. And uh, one interesting thing about the Easter, oh, there's Margo, I forgot about that. One interesting thing about the Easter egg in this map is that it's actually possible on solo and co-op, but the solo one doesn't have the final step. So like, if you want to do the full Easter egg, you have to do co-op, but you can do everything but the last step solo. Yeah, this setup is going to make quick work of these guys. And here we go. We have the new perk of this map. The only new perk during BO3, which is honestly a letdown. But it is what is one and is probably like the best or second best perk in Zombies history. Some people prefer it over Jug. I don't know if I'd say that, but I mean, it's it's close. It's close. Let's go back out the canals. Let's go uh, get Jug. We're going to go up this way this time and get Jug open. Only two things to activate, so maybe we could get some extra stuff. Pop this open real quick. We're gonna be cutting it close. Ooh, I wanted to get that little box, but it did not happen, sadly. And uh, I am running Unquenchable as one of my gobblegums, which will allow me to get a fifth perk. Again, I could have done Perkaholic and just cheese the game and get every single perk imaginable. But I don't want to, like... Like, I want to run Megas, but I don't want to run, like, overpowered, ridiculous Megas. We are going to take the train, or tram, whatever you want to call it, which is a new thing on this map, form of transportation, because this map is so dang big. And, uh, we're going to look for some symbols, and that will help us get our sword. Let's go ahead and go this way. Okay, here's the first one. I don't have a big brain. So I'm just going to remember these uh, by taking pictures of them. All right, so we got our three symbols. Oh, I forgot to mention Shadow Man put a giant disgusting tentacle over the entire city. That's nasty. So that's great. Thought I heard the phone ringing. There are phones in this map that you can actually pick up and like somebody will like talk to you or say something. I don't remember exactly what. I think it like explains part of the boxer, my character's uh, story. That's kind of cool. Here we go. So this is where we're going to use the beast. All right. That's one of them. I'm pausing because I, you know, I want to save my time. All right. So that opens that. Now we can start working on getting the sword and also open this stuff as well. I think I got it. I'm not sure. I I think I got it. I don't know. All right, whatever. Yeah, so those boxes open up these little tentacle monster statues, and this is where the sword comes into play, because we have to take this egg, put it down, and we have to feed souls. That's right, soul box. You thought that this game was going to be different? No, sir. So, yeah. Uh, Good night. <laughs> All right, that egg is done. So we're gonna go ahead and head over to canals and get the next one going. All right, that one's done. Felt like I barely killed anybody for that one, but I'll take it. I'm actually gonna open up a little bit more because there are these side paths to these main areas that actually have these little fuses 
and uh, you get three fuses and you can pretty much craft Iron Man himself to come down and save you. So I'll definitely be showing that off later. Uh, that's actually going to come in handy for one of the steps I need to do as well. So let's just go ahead and get Waterfront out of here. Let's see if I actually got the box open. Oh, I did. Let's go. That was literally like as close of a freaking call as it could possibly get. I, I hit that while I was teleporting out of the beast mode. So let's go. Yeah, round six, I'd say we're doing pretty good so far. Okay, we got the bug round. This is pretty much the dog round. We also have some meatballs that come in and try to blow you up. Uh, there's gonna be a whole step later for the Easter egg dedicated to that. It's gonna be really annoying. Too bad they wouldn't actually go into the egg, but I guess this apothecan tentacle creature only likes zombies. Yeah, I would love to get the Easter egg done early. Uh, the Easter egg for this map does not end the game, so we can do other stuff afterwards. All right, we got that. I'm going to go ahead and head this way and grab the fuse. Boom, there we go. And did we get all the shield parts? Yeah, we did. We got a purple pod now. They actually go from green to red to purple, and uh, it just makes the rewards better. But also, uh, there's a piece of the wonder weapon that I have to get where... I have to open purple pods during a bug round, so I'm not going to be worrying about them yet. Level 3, Impatient Gobblegum. That's literally me. Alright, we're done with all of the uh, statue soul boxes. Now, all that's left is to go back down below and get our newly acquired sword. Which is the first of many super, like, special weapons that you get nice. throughout this game. So, we'll have that in the back pocket. Uh, the base one's cool, but it's not, like, crazy insane. Uh, you pretty much just slash back and forth, and it has a special attack where you slam down. But the upgraded version, which is what we're going to be working on now, that one, the, the special attack for that is insane. It pretty much makes your sword a sentient being that travels around and chops heads so yeah that'll be insane so we have to go to waterfront now to start working on our upgraded sword and in the meantime i'm actually gonna go build the shield real quick and this shield does have a rocket boost which is kind of cool and there's a way to upgrade it but it's kind of obscure and i don't really know how good the upgrade even is so we'll see about that uh, maybe after the easter egg is done we can do some of the more obscure upgrades I'm gonna see if I can get Plain Sight as my gobble gum. We got a Liquid Divinium, I'll take that. There we go, Plain Sight, easy. Now we have to interact with this Ghost Boy. Get this Arch Ovum. We're gonna spawn this Margwa and tear him up. So yeah, pretty much, uh, we just have to do this thing like four times at all the different areas and uh, we'll have our upgraded swords, pretty simple. Especially with the sword, like just chopping their heads, It's there's nothing to it, it's super easy. But I believe you can only do one per round, so yeah, you can only do one per round. So we're gonna have to just blast these boys and uh, get going. That guy looks like he wants to kill me, but he's also, like, completely uninterested. Oh, there's a third Margwa spawning in the distance. How great. Where is the third one exactly? I don't even... Oh, he's over there. I'm going to go buy Widow's Wine, show you guys how beautiful this perk is. So, essentially this perk turns your nades into spider grenades. Oh no! See it, chump. Oh, I did not mean to throw one. God, Xbox One bumpers are so sensitive. Yeah, so if a zombie hits you, that's what happens to them. I honestly didn't even want that zombie to hit me, but they did, and now they're suffering the consequences, so there you go. But, yeah, Widows is super overpowered, and you get the grenades back off of random kills, so you pair this with Jug, and you're really gonna have to suck to uh, die.
I just not realize the name of the sword is like, what the heck is that? Shabazer Ulagwa. All right, they're all dead. Yeah, we'll just go another round and be good to go. Yeah, uh, whatever that move was, it was not going to work. We can go get the uh, last fuse while we're up here. Ooh, bug round. All right, we got to open the, the purple pods now. Right, I must have missed the fuse. All right, whatever. Uh, I need to direct my focus. Okay, here it is. I need to direct my focus over to getting the purple pods. As you can see, we have freaking spaghetti meatballs chasing us. It's truly one of the, the special enemies of all time. All right, purple pods. Here we go. Here's one. All right, I need to get a tail. And we got a first try. All right, very nice. So we only have one more part to get for the wonder weapon. So I'll just start blasting these guys. Actually, you know what? I I'm going to do the uh, Margwa step this round. See if I can squeeze that in real quick. All right. Why did he teleport? Like, literally, he could have just made it there at the exact same pace by just walking. I just need to make sure they don't slam me, because if they slam me, then, uh, well, it's gonna be rough. Let's just say that. Well, we got the egg done. Very nice. I guess the next round started already. So let's just go ahead and grab this upgraded sword. God, the, the trek across the map that I have to do to get this is ridiculous. Okay, take that and give me that. Boom. Upgraded sword. The Kree Salat, whatever the heck that said. Don't even know. I'm not going to use that yet, though. So now at this point, uh, all that we really need to do as far as the main Easter egg is concerned is we have to kill a bug and hope that it drops this big pile of green crap. Uh, and then we'll be able to build the wonder weapon and actually get going on this easter egg very short easter egg But the first step is incredibly challenging so You know, it's not like some super ridiculous like tedious long easter egg But it is a challenging one not the hardest ever but the flag step is rough I'm gonna try and hit for unquenchable and grab my fifth perk, which is definitely gonna be double tap. Stamina up is nice. Okay, there we go, unquenchable. Stamina up is nice with the uh, the wonder weapon, but not necessary. Get that, there we go. We got our five perks. We're good to go in that department. Let me go ahead and put these fuses in. Um, that is going to allow us to summon the civil protector which is like iron man and he's he's gonna be a big help but for now i'm going to get some points and pap the haymaker oh i forgot to mention getting widow's wine does make the knife a little bit stronger not like bowie knife levels of powerful but it does help we're gonna hold on to this this is gonna come in handy later. What kind of stuff can I get in the meantime? Ray gun? Wow. See, I'm telling you, those purple pods, they go hard. I'm actually gonna pick that up because I have no ammo. <laughs> the dredge is not a fan favorite, but it's an LMG, and I'll take it. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Is that little Arnie? No. I need my little Arnie's, man. I need him. That's an ICR. That's not a little Arnie. It's not it, bro. It's not it. It's not it, man. Holy crap. It's World War III outside of my house right now. What is going on? This is a great time to do a video, clearly. Hey, there we go, little Arnie. We have finally made it in life. All right, I need to see if the Xeno Matter, like, accidentally dropped already somewhere. And I just, like, looked past it because I feel like I should have it by now. I hope it like didn't drop somewhere already and I'm just missing it, but I don't I don't know where it could have dropped. This could be it right here. Yeah, I, I called it. I called it. Alright, cool. We can actually build the wonder weapon now, thank god. We can get on to the worst part of the Easter egg. I wouldn't say worst, but it's definitely the hardest. The greatest wonder weapon in Call of Duty Zombies history is what we're about to build. This thing is literally insane. Alright, here we go. literally shoved our arm 
into this disgusting creature's butt and shot out a black hole of death. I mean, it doesn't get any better. So yeah, this gun does not have a lot of ammo, but uh, every shot is just insane. Without question, the best wonder weapon of all time. And in the final map of this game, you can upgrade it and it has even more ammo. Okay, so I think we are ready to take on the flag step. But first, before we do that, we have to go up here and activate a little book. All right, here we go. So this book's gonna levitate. And then we will start our quest. Now we have these little ghost guys and essentially what we have to do is we have to take the flag over to different areas without it breaking. And in the meantime, it has to be charged up and while it's being charged up, the shadow man will try and take us out and the meatballs will just like rain down fire upon us. Just meatballs everywhere trying to stop us so all right there's the flag so we're gonna pick this up and we're gonna run over to waterfront and we're also gonna activate the civil protector because he's gonna have to help us so here come the meatballs if they hit the flag like four times if that then it goes bye bye and we're gonna put this first flag down shadow man's gonna spawn we're gonna take him out All right, looking decent so far. All right, we can pick up the flag now. I need to reload this, go ahead and pop it down. We're gonna summon the civil protector, put the flag down, take the shadow man out. All right, civil protector's gotta tear them meatballs up. Get out of your shadow man. Come on flag. There we go. Pick that up. We get our max ammo. We're heading out. We also have our little Arnie's. I think that's all, though. I think we can just go place it now. All right, yeah. Now we have to defend it. All right, we place it. Now we just defend this boy. Silver Protector coming in huge with the backup. All right, that's the first flag down. We're going to have to do that three more times. I'ma just, I'ma double up. Let's go. I got plenty of ammo. We'll be all right. Oh yeah, let me throw that as well. All right, let's get that. Bro, I, literally, oh my god, it broke. I was trying to freaking pick the thing up, but it wouldn't let me. And it broke. That's sad. Okay, whatever. We'll just do that again. We'll run it back. Unfortunate. I need to summon the Civil Protector. I gotta remember where his summon point even is. Oh yeah, it's right here. Duh. Alright, Civil Protector. Come on. Do your job! Bro, with the Civil Protector, this is literal cheese. Like, actual cheese. Oh, yeah, we gotta go this way now. I I'm kind of going backwards on this one, but whatever. Get out of here, little shadow rat. Alright, let's get that. Ow, forgot about the purple little annoying things. Go after that. I don't even know if Arnie's actually doing anything. All right, that flag's done. Two more to go. We're going to have to do uh, one per round, so we're going to have to wait until next round to do the next one. Break the shield. Break the shield. Bro, dude's being really annoying right now, isn't he? Hit it one more time. There we go. All right, cool. Let's head back down. Let's get these last two knocked out. All right, Silver Protector, come back to me. Ah, uh, Silver Protector, can you hit your shots? Just a little bit better. 
Usually you're you're on point, but you know they're kind of slipping through, bro. What's up with that? That boy, he came around quick, didn't he? All right. Come on, reload the dang thing. This is why we have speed cola. All right, that's done. One more flag. Without speed cola, that wonder weapon's reload makes me want to die. All right, let's go. I'll kind of have to maneuver in an interesting way to go get civil protector without this thing blowing up. Alright, Protector, I need you to, uh, protect. Bro does not want me to reload. Alright. Oh, I'm not getting a max ammo. What's up with that? Trying to make it difficult on me. Okay, I see how it is. Hey, Civil Protector, shoot the freaking meatballs. What happened to your pinpoint accuracy? Alright. There we go. There's a max ammo. Alright, let's not hit the purple crap. I don't remember what that does, but it's probably not anything good. Alright, final one. Let's go, baby. Alright, that's it. Oh yeah, now we have Margwa Apocalypse. Oh, they're trying to corner me too. Look at these rats. Yeah, it ain't gonna happen. I got, I got insane firepower that you just cannot keep up with. All right, so now that we have the flag step over with, all we have left is the boss fight, and remember how I got that fatal contraption earlier? Yeah, that's gonna make this boss fight even more of a joke than it already is. The Shadows boss fight's honestly not even that crazy. It's really Dreisendrak, where the boss fights get more intense, but regardless, that'll be the final step of the solo Easter egg, so I'm gonna save one wee little zombie, and we're gonna, we're gonna take this freaking guy out. All right, let's go. Let's go ahead and just take the Shadow Man out. Now we got all four keepers going. All we have to do is interact and we start spraying. Time to die, bud. And there we go. That's the boss fight. Are you serious? That's the Shadows of Evil Easter Egg done. Shadow Man is now trapped inside of the summoning key. And you're probably thinking, that was a boss fight? Yeah, I know. Kind of easy. Kind of cheesy. It is harder whenever you don't have the death machine. It's still a pretty easy boss fight, but it is not supposed to be that easy. But, uh, you know, that's why that's why we brought out the big guns. Yeah, so that that's the uh, main Easter egg of Shadows of Evil. I'd say we did pretty dang well. Um, now, there are, of course, still little side Easter eggs and whatnot to this map. And I think I'm going to give them a shot. But we got the bulk of this map done with. And honestly, there'd be nothing wrong with quitting now. But I do want to explore a couple other things things a couple other side easter eggs so we'll just do that and then uh we'll pretty much be done first i'm gonna buy the bootlegger and just show you guys what that's like since it's a map exclusive weapon and there are a couple other easter eggs that we can do so there actually is a margwa hat that we can get by shooting stuff on the train so I'm going to try and do that. And we also need to get 100 kills with Little Arnie's uh, to upgrade them. Because there is an upgrade for Little Arnie's. It's pretty cool. I'm going to buy the bootlegger. And we're going to get moving. Well, there's a Margo Heart. Did I get that? I can't even tell. There's like six of those that we have to shoot. I actually probably need to look up the locations real quick. Because <laughs> I don't remember. I'll be honest. I don't even remember what the Margo Mask does. I think it probably like makes to where... Margos don't hurt you as much or something, but oh, I did not mean to freaking please don't die to that. Please don't die to that. There's no reason to die to that. Only thing I hate about Widows is that right there. Just accident. All right, thank God it's not dead. Accidentally killing zombies. All right, can I activate this without you running in here? All right. Oh my, literally hacks. Okay, well, this is, this is gonna be interesting. I don't even know if I shot that one. Thank you, zombie, for literally ruining everything. 
Bro. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Know your place, trash. Okay, we're, it's personal now. This zombie is dying. I'm sick and tired of your cra Come here. Where you at? Where you at? Hmm? Is that our first death of the match? It was. First death was to that crap. Not even the Easter egg. It was that. Bruh. And uh, there is like some sort of widow's wine, like mega gobblegum Easter egg with those lion heads or whatever those were. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll do that yet, though. All right, yeah, we got them all. All right, let's go find this mask now. Oh, all right, well, there we go. Pick up Margwood. Um, I don't think it shows it, but if you're in like a co-op game, then uh, the other players can see you with it. So like, we can't really see it, but I'm pretty sure I have it on. All right, now my next objective, pretty simple. I just have to go ahead and get that 100 kills with the uh, little Arnie's. Dang, I'll be honest, uh, I didn't realize that was my last one. I didn't realize that was such a small group of zombies. All right, that's great. I need to go path this bootlegger just because why not? And I need to pick Widows back up. Oh, that was such a close call. Oh my god, without double tap, this thing's doo-doo. Honestly, I may, I may not get Widows. I may just get double tap. Ugh. So yeah, we do have the Margwa helmet. Can't see it, sadly. I think it makes it to where maybe we can survive a Margwa stomp or we take less damage or something, but we do have it. We got the sniper. All right, let's go do the jump scare. Let's go get freaked out over a certain boy. There's supposed to be like some big building with a red light. I don't even see it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, now I have an absolute dog water weapon to deal with the Margwa. Let's go. Man, I want my Arnie's back. I'll take that. That'll deal with the Margwa. Bro, I was really hoping he would drop a max. Maybe one day I'll get that max ammo. A path takes forever on this map. Literally forever. Blast Furnace. You know what? I'll rock Blast Furnace. Why not? Deadwire is obviously better, but... Come on, Bug Round or Max Ammo or something. I literally need it so bad. I want to use my Arnie's and get the stupid Arnie upgrade. Well, I mean, there's nothing stupid about it. It's pretty epic. All right. In the meantime, let me go get the uh, Trip Mines and do this little trip mine easter egg real quick while we're uh waiting on getting that beloved max ammo all right there we go there's the little trip mine boys all right i'm very curious as to if <laughs> trip mines can even do anything anymore like i may be doing this way too late uh the point of this little side easter egg is essentially you throw three trip mines down on three donut carts and they turn into upgraded donut trip mines absolutely amazing let's see if they even do anything oh yeah so much damage i, I don't even know if i got a kill to be honest that easter egg might be a little bit of a lost cause all right i need this to be a bug round so bad all right bug round sweet Ah, oh, beautiful. All right, enjoy this. Oh yeah, this is cheese. Maximum cheese. Probably get 100 kills with these three uses. All right, this should give me my 100 kills. Right, uh, Lil Arnie, why, why are you not killing the entire horde? I, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed, Arnie. I, I really am. I feel like you could have done better than that. And that just got me killed. Okay, that's great. I'm struggling more at these little stupid side easter eggs than I am the main easter egg. Can you imagine? I'm gonna be honest, boys. I may not even upgrade the shield. That may be too much. 
We'll see. Bro, what am I doing over here? I thought uh, I thought this was Jug. Ah, uh, whatever. Honestly, the other ones are so minuscule, I might just, like, focus on the little Arnie one. I don't think I'm going to do the others, to be honest. The little Arnie one is the only one worth actually, like, seeing. But main priority right now is going to be the little Arnie one. Um, and once I get that done, I'm just going to call it a game. Because, I mean, we've done pretty much everything. Most of this other stuff isn't really that important. Oh, I did get a max. Okay, freaking finally. Arnie, go. I don't even know how many activations it takes to get 100. You know what? I have a I have a method of telling if I've gotten 100 kills or not. I'm going to go actually see if Lil Arnie takes this hat because the step after getting 100 kills you have to like collect items. So I'm going to see if he actually picks this up. Yeah, he took the hat. Alright, we've already gotten the 100 kills then. Nice. Alright, he's got that. Well, unfortunately, I'm gonna need one more max ammo before we can finish this off, so, uh, oh well. <laughs> but that will be it after that. We'll have the little Arnie upgrade done, and at that point, I will be free. I wanna be free of this pain. Oh, and I forgot to mention earlier that, yeah, BO3 PAP has double PAP upgrades. I don't know why I forgot to mention that, but it's cool. Very helpful. All right. So we have to collect this little thing. All right. Now we have one thing left to do, and that is to get these boys upgraded and watch the spectacular Lil Arnie dance. All right. Let's go get this upgraded, and that'll be it for Shadows of Evil. Oh. Well, it really is going to be it. Lightning just came down from the heavens outside of my house. All right, we got to be quick. We got to get this boy upgraded. I don't know if uh, my internet and everything is going to hold up. So, Because I am playing on Steam on PC. So, yes, uh, internet is a factor even on solo. Plus, I don't want my power to go out. So, we're, we're going to be rushing. Let's go, baby. <laughs> oh, look at those moves. Look at the gate worms. Wait for it. Oh, look at little little Arnie boy. He got them moves. What a great, great show. Absolutely. This is literally the reward. Like, the reward is actually making the little Arnie stronger, but if you ask me, that's the reward. So, yeah, let's throw this little Arnie out and uh, watch it go purple. Boom, there we go. Upgrade little Arnie. I wonder if it uh, lasts longer. That must be what it is. Seems like it's killing more zombies, but also could be lasting longer. So, yeah, uh, that's pretty much all I'm going to showcase. I don't think that I'm going to be able to get that trip mine Easter egg to go off. My trip mines do jack in this freaking round 34 game. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to activate the black and white mode just to show you guys. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to hold out. Actually, you know, I may not do a hold out. I'll be honest, I'm kind of pressed for time. So, I think I'm just going to end the game by, by unaliving. I know that holding out in the train would be cool, but that might be a challenge I do for a video one day, so. Alright, let's do this black and white. There we go, black and white mode. I mean, honestly, I could have given you guys the exact same effect just through the power of editing, but, uh, oh well. We, we did the legit one, so yeah, I've done pretty much all the important easter eggs. We did the main easter egg. We absolutely bullied this map. I just want to say, I barely played this map recently. I did one little practice run beforehand, but I barely did anything in that practice run because I got killed early. So, uh, I say we did a good freaking job, and it is time to go out with a warrior's death. Take my life! Well, hold on, we have to wait like 10 seconds so I can get back up and die again. There we go. You survived 34 rounds, 16, 33 kills, easily my longest game of this entire series. Holy crap, what a pain this is going to be to edit. Let me tell you that. All right, well, that is going to wrap up our Shadows of Evil game, our first map on the Black Ops 3 Revisiting series. Shadows of Evil is obviously one of the greatest maps ever made, and I'm very impressed with what we were able to get done, and I'm happy we did as much as we could. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you're looking forward to the rest of Black Ops 3 because it's going to be a long and fun ride. And I hope to see you guys on future videos. So if you did enjoy this, please be sure to like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next video.